Okay, so let's do one more thing before we stop for today. And that's uh, taking a look at the simulation. So I'm going to start this ping again. Uh, but I'm going to let it go continuously. And so, but if I put on my simulation over here, right, we know a couple things about this, this simulation. We know that, you know, if we go ahead and start it, right, this sort of moves through the network slowly, queues them up, and then sends them off across the links. And, um, and we can click on the various things. We'll, we'll do some more of that later on here. But sometimes when we want to see a particular kind of traffic, the, um, there are some things that can get in the way. Now, when we're dealing with Wireshark, of course, what we can do is display filters. So uh, let's take a, a, another look at our, our ping here. I'm going to actually stop it right now. And we're just going to let this run for a sec. And you can speed this up. We can step through this a little bit. And we can see that there's this other kind of traffic here. This happens to be spanning tree protocol. But as we step through a little bit, oh, goodness, what do we got here? Cisco Discovery Protocol. Here's some dynamic trunking protocol. And sometimes when we're trying to watch what's going on, those get in the way. So one of the things you can do is edit the filters. And in this case, we want ICMP and ART maybe. But what we don't want is this other stuff that's out there. So we uncheck these boxes, right? And then all of a sudden, our simulation has only the traffic that we want in. So that's just a handy little tip when we're, when we're uh, working through this on our pings. And these are all, of course, buffered. But as our simulation works its way through here, we see that the traffic is, is going across the network. And we're only seeing what we want to see. And I guess the thing that we will we'll also point out here is that if I want to grab one of these, right, I can take a look at the OSI models, or I can take a look at the PDU details. And here we say Ethernet. And let's expand this a little bit. There we go. And we see that this is uh, Ethernet type 2. And we know that because of this type field here. It's greater than 1500. And that value right there, 0800, means that we're carrying IP version 4. And here we see the IP version 4 header. The source and destination IP addresses, among other things. We can also see from the protocol, this 01 happens to mean that we're carrying ICMP. And here is our ICMP echo request. There you go. So there's a couple of tips and tricks for how to handle the simulation tool. And of course, you can always, if things are moving too slow for you, you can always get rid of it and go back to real time and let the pings fly. That'll do it for this one. We'll see you next time.